This video demonstrates how to create a co-occurrence visualization so that we can evaluate whether there appear to be any unusual repair and replacement costs passed between roofing companies and claims adjusters. This type of analysis is particularly useful if you believe that there would be collusion among several different participants in your case. To create a co-occurrence visualization, begin by creating a new sheet by clicking on the bar icon with a plus symbol at the bottom of your worksheet. Go ahead and rename this sheet by right-clicking and selecting the Rename option. And we're going to rename this to Adjuster Roofing Company Analysis. Now that we've got our sheet set up and we've named it, now we can go ahead and start creating the co-occurrence visualization. We're going to begin by finding the adjuster under the dimensions menu and dragging that over to columns. We're going to repeat that process but for the roofing company because we again want to see if there's any relation between the repair and replacement costs that look unusual in our adjuster and roofing company pairs. Now that we have both of our pairs set up, we can start to look at the repair and replacement costs. So go ahead and find those under our measures and double click to add them onto our sheet. We want to change both of these measure values from the default of sum down to average. And now we have a good idea about what the average repair and replacement costs are between our adjusters and our roofing companies. We, however, this could be made to look a little bit different, so we're going to try to use a side-by-side -side bar visualization for this co-occurrence visualization. So up at the top, pick the Show Me button and go ahead and select the side-by-side -side bars visualization. You can click back on the Show Me to hide that menu. Now we can see as we created this visualization that it automatically moved the roofing company back up into the columns. That's not where we would like it for our co-occurrence, so we can go ahead and click and drag that back down to the beginning of our rows. Make sure you put it in front of your measures instead of behind so that it creates a visualization that looks like this. Scrolling through this chart allows us to quickly identify that for most of our roofing company and adjuster pairs, the average repair cost is higher than the average replacement cost, but we can also see that that is not the case for all of our adjuster slash roofing company pairs. You want to think about what that may mean and whether that could lead you to identify additional claims that might need to be investigated based on a concern about the relationship between the roofing company and the adjuster. We can add labels, sort columns, and we can of course change the colors of the visualization. Since I haven't demonstrated the last one yet, I'll show you how to edit the colors. Up at the top we see our legend here, and we see both our estimated cost to repair as well as our estimated cost to replace. If we want to change the color, we can go ahead and right click on that legend for that item. And then we would click on edit colors and we could select whatever color we felt is appropriate. And then we could click on apply. You can repeat that process for the other measure to select a different color based on what we think would look visually appealing. By this point in the video, you have seen a number of different options on how you can visualize the data using Tableau. It's now your responsibility to take whatever steps you feel will ensure that you can appropriately identify claims that warrant additional consideration and create effective visualizations to support your recommendations. Enjoy!